Right, that should do it. <clears throat> hey, glad to see you're working there. The name's Fritz, and welcome to the Pop Goes Pizzeria, the next generation of kids' entertainment. <clears throat> as you already know, you'll be guarding this place until six in the morning, and as your boss, I'm obliged to help you understand your job and the tools you'll be allowed to use during the shift. So, first things first, I've got to be honest, your current setup might not be very optimal, so to say. I didn't have time to prepare a designated room for you in the location, so you'll just have to manage with using one of the internet cafe monitors near the stage, next to the gang. Don't start complaining just yet, I set a nice spot near the window for you. Even brought a fan. Anyway, the phone you have in your hand, it's usually used by kids during the day for games and Whatnot, but I've sorted out a security application that only activates during the night, which is when you're here, obviously. Everything you'll ever need for your job is ready to use. Go on, press some buttons. You can check all the rooms with set cameras that are connected online, and the ventilation system, too. <sighs> Alright, I know what you're thinking. First night on the job, I'm rambling a bit, it's a lot to take in. And yes, I know there are a bunch of anthropomorphic plastic animals around you, watching you work. Trust me when I say I know how that feels. Your imagination might get a tad bit out of control. Stress does that to you. But don't worry, you're completely safe here. I've built this place from the ground up to be one of the most transparent, honest, and safest places on earth, unlike some other businesses. If you ever start feeling anxious, looking out the window or just, you know, taking a look outside should calm you. That tends to work for me at least. Right, back to the anthropomorphic animals. I'm sure you've already guessed by now that these are our animatronic characters. Top of the line technology. Honestly, the name animatronic doesn't do them justice. They're more like multi-purpose robots. They can be programmed to do anything I can think of. They pretty much run this place now. Of course, again, they are completely harmless. They aren't physically capable of hurting anybody. I made sure of that myself. I think I might be going on for too long. Last thing on the list. You may have noticed that this is a pre-recorded message, which means if you want to ask a question, you won't get an answer. But hey, to fix that, I've given you some options. I stayed up all night to set up a simple Q&A system to go with your app. When this call ends, you will get three topics to choose from, and when you select one of them, another audio message of mine will play to help explain whatever you want to know more about. Quite nifty, right? Obviously not quite as much freedom as a normal phone call, but it'll have to do for now. Well, that's it for your first night. Check those cameras and don't forget to take a breather once in a while, alright? Your three options should appear now. Hey, good to know you want to learn more about my crew. If you paid attention to my first message, you must have heard me say that these robots can do pretty much anything, yes? Well, I wasn't joking. This place is fully automated and run entirely by them. No human employees as of yet. Don't need them, honestly. The staff room exists purely to keep the ventilation opening out of reach of customers. Cooking, cleaning, printing, performing, taking care of kids, etc., etc. It's all down to the cartoon animals. All very efficient. Yes. <clears throat> Did I tell you that I built the characters, too? That's what the 3D printers were originally for, before they were repurposed to do the same thing, but... A lot smaller. <laughs> Didn't need anyone for that either. Designed, printed, put together, all by yours truly. Relying on other people is nonsense, I tell you. Uh, of course, don't let that discourage you from doing your job. There are always exceptions. Right, uh, I'll be in for the first night. I'll do the same thing for you tomorrow. See you, kid. <laughs>